Ronaldo. Carvajal. This one is just a squeeze clear of Nasri. Bale. And goes Ronaldo, but the volley from Benzema. Superb. What a tidy finish and under pressure from Karim Benzema. First blood for Real Madrid. That's a brilliant finish. As the ball came in, Ronaldo was poised, Benzema makes a good run as well. But it all starts with a driving run from Danny Carvajal, who escapes the attention of Nasri early on in that move. Drives towards the Manchester City back four, plays a well-timed pass to Gareth Bale, chooses unusually to cross with his right foot. And therefore, the ball is swinging out. It's great connection from Benzema, great centre-forward play, no chance for Joe Hart. Really is a good goal from the Frenchman. He's under pressure for his position. Cross for an excellent pass, Flag stays down, and Hart can't keep it out. Ronaldo makes it 2-0. And we don't need any goal-line technology to say that was legitimate, it looked well over the line. And it all came from a terrific pass from Tony Cruz. Again, it's a, another well worked goal from Real Madrid. This is better from them. Benzema takes up the position wide on the left. It downs Ronaldo to drift inside and play as a centre forward. Makes a better of, in terms of movement off a collar off. Great pass. He's clearly onside. Good first touch, just prods it goalwards. Admirable attempt from Joe Hart to make the save initially, the first one there. And tries to be sharp, tries to get back and clear it, but clearly over the line for Real Madrid second. And certainly pleasing the home supporters who saw a new new draw against Roma and now two goals from Real Madrid. Season. And Real Madrid certainly suffered. Isco's corner, Pepe! 3 0 for Real Madrid. And it was just sheer hunger from Pepe, he felt that corner from Isco had his name written all over it, it did, 3-0 Real Madrid. But they do carry an aerial threat, there's no doubt about that, Bell, Ronaldo, Sergio Ramos of course, and this time it was Pepe. He's not really being picked up, he finds himself pretty free, he picks up the flight of the path, the cross into the box from that range. He should score, that's exactly what he does. Anything with power is always going to get it past Joe Hart, the City goal. This go with the outswinging corner. It could have been Ramos as well. Two players unmarked. But it's Pepo who gets there ahead of Ramos. It gives Real Madrid a convincing three-goal lead. Clutch of Real Madrid players might have got there ahead of Pepe. And equally a clutch of Manchester City have something of a lifeline here with the last act of a first half in which they've been distinctly second best. Yaya Toure against Keylor Navas. Scores comfortably. And that will give Manchester City and Manuel Pellegrini something at least to chew on at half-time. You can see here Raheem Sterling controls it. Bounces up and hits him on the left arm. Ramos is halfway through appealing for the handball and can't resist tapping the ball away with his hand. It was a handball by Ramos, it was a handball by Sterling, and it was outside the box. Somehow it's ended up in a. Not easy for a young player to break through at Real Madrid, is it, in that attacking position? He's good. Excellent cross and a goal for Cherishev. All too easy. Manchester City found one team from a defensive point of view again. But as soon as he squared his defender up there, he's go. He looked like he was going to cause damage. It is poor defending in this situation. You have to stop Isco from getting a, a cross into the box. And they don't do that well enough. Gal Cliche has to do better. He has to really defend with a lot more determination to stop that cross getting across into the danger area. 
And Cherry Chef obliges with a tapping at the far post. Good work from his scope, but certainly preventable from Manchester City's point of view. Sanya just loses Cherry Chef at the far post, but the damage was done by Cliche.